Hey there, welcome to Pepper Geek. Sort of an impromptu video today because I was at the supermarket shopping for taco supplies, not frankly, and I saw this sitting on the shelf. And I was shocked because I know about this pepper, I had read about this pepper, and yet I thought I would never see it because years ago it showed up in European markets and was being sold as the Enjoya pepper. And it basically looks like a bell pepper, but it has these beautiful orange and yellow stripes, sort of a mixture of a red and a yellow bell pepper in one. And so my first thought when I saw this on the internet was, wow, we need to crossbreed that. We need to get that bell pepper into a jalapeno and make all sorts of weird looking peppers like this one. But as I dug deeper, I figured out that that's probably not gonna happen. Now, before I get into some details about the Aloha pepper, most of this information is coming from one article that I've read. Uh, it's called the biologist is in .blogspot.com. I will leave a link down below to that article if you're interested in learning more. It's very informative and interesting to read. So here in America, they're marketing it as the Aloha pepper. In Europe, it was marketed as the Enjoya pepper and I assume it still is. So when this pepper was first brought to market, the marketing team basically said, nature has graced us with a natural variation of the bell pepper and thus we have this pepper. But the patent for this pepper, and yes, this pepper has a patent, says it a little bit differently. So let, let me read that to you. I don't actually need these. <clears throat> E20B3751 was discovered in a screening trial of mutants of pepper variety Maduro conducted in the Netherlands. A Little bit of a different tone there. Yeah, so basically they were playing around with mutations of a red bell pepper and this variety just showed up in their gardens. So why won't we be able to breed this? Why don't I just plant the seeds that are in this pepper and I'll grow more Aloha peppers? Well, a lot of people have beat me to the punch on that and tried it and everyone who's tried to grow these peppers has ended up with yellow peppers, no red stripes. Now I'm not a biologist, I don't really understand why this is, but it turns out that the seeds grown inside of these peppers are growing off of the yellow tissue and the red tissue that forms when these peppers are growing can't produce seeds. And so when you save seeds from these plants, they turn into yellow peppers. <laughs> So the only way that you can create this pepper is by cloning the original plant. The genetics of this plant come from one organism. The same organism is producing all of these peppers. And the way that they do that is basically they graft pieces of the original plant onto other pepper plants. And that allows those graftings to produce these peppers at a, a much faster rate. Now, I don't know anything about how it was mutated, if they were intentionally trying to make mutations by tampering with seeds, genetic modification, or if it was just some form of natural crossbreeding, I don't know. I can only contemplate the possibilities, but in any event, it's pretty cool, I have to admit. And I'm excited to taste it. I probably will grow some seeds out just to show you what happens when you grow the seeds out from this thing and to cross my fingers and hope that I was wrong, but I'm fairly sure I'm just gonna get some yellow bell peppers out of it. Anyway, that's really it. I just wanted to share this with you. I was very excited when I saw this at the supermarket. Um, and I'm just gonna be eating it in some tacos, but again, if you'd like to learn more about the Aloha slash Enjoya pepper, check out the article that I'll link down below from The Biologist Is In. It's a much more technical article and you can learn a lot if you're interested. Thanks for watching Pepper Geek and I'll see you next time.